Hey, what's up everybody? I got a really good idea to do uh, fishing. It's like uh, 6.30, so I got just a little bit before it gets dark. I mowed, but I haven't weed eated yet. Oh, don't you hate weed eating? All right, um, I really want to go fish right now, and I don't have a lot of time. So, if I make this shot, I'm going to weed eat tomorrow. If I don't, I'll weed eat now. Oh, yes! Let's go fishing. So today's video is definitely something a little different, something I've never done before. I have a brand new Sequest Tinkara rod, 12 foot long, it says 6 to 4, not sure what that is. Um, so this was sent to me, it was more than 6 months ago, it was a long time ago, this was sent and I was like, you know what, You know, I want to wait till this gets kind of warm, the fish get active, and where I can take it to a place that I know that the fish are you know, kind of active and hitting where I can give it a good try out. So uh, my plan, it, this looks like it's got everything that you need in there. So this is the, the greenway here in town and there's some, it's a good place because there's, there's openings cleared out. So uh, I'm gonna open this up, get it set up. I, there's little flies. I guess it comes with the string and you know, the line and everything. I don't know, I've never used one before. This is gonna be the first time ever trying one out. Yeah, there we go. Oh. All right, I'm just, uh, I've never watched a video on how to put this together and didn't come with any instructions, so. I mean, it seems to be pretty self-explanatory. I thought it was gonna be a lot shorter, but I got a little fly and um, I got like 30 feet of line. So, we'll see how this is gonna work out. We'll take it on the creek and give it a try. How's it going? Any luck? I just started. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can work this thing in here. I know. <laughs> Good luck. All right, we got one, a little coosa bass. I just watched him come eat it. I saw several fish that came up and peck at it and let it go. But uh, I don't know if my line's too long. I may have it too long, because I couldn't even get him up out of there, but we did get a fish. Well, that was a lot of effort, and I don't know if that's supposed to be what it is. It's supposed to be harder, more of a challenge. I felt like I could have caught 10 fish in the time it took to catch one, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll move around. We'll try a couple more. All right, second fish, a little red breast. Uh, came up and hit it, then a little bit bigger bass was chasing it. It's a, it's a bass. It's actually called a red eye bass. That's, that's what a true red eye bass is. They got little, uh, little... Under the tree. Well, there goes my first one. Broke off in the... You actually lasted longer than I thought. It came with three flies, so I was using a middle sized one. Now I'm going to use a little bit smaller one after it lost in the tree. Got a bluegill. Now this one, I had no idea who was on because um, 
I can't, this, this little bug's so small, I can't see it out there. I can barely see it. So I didn't see it this time. And I was just picking it up and the fish was on. This time he held onto it, so. I don't know how, if that's how you're normally supposed to catch them, just by resistance, but, or by watching them. Cause a lot of, I've seen a lot of fish bite it real quick and let go. But this one, he just kind of, I guess, held onto it when I started picking up, he um, got hooked, so. I've got three fish there. There's a, there's so many fish in here though. Just, it's, I'm still kind of aggravated that I can't just cast wherever, exactly where I want it. Well, I, I'm trying something new today, and it's, it's frustrating. So guys, <laughs> number four. And then, I, so I cast it out, and then I saw this. I saw this fish just come up and like hit something. So I just pulled up because I, I, I was hoping he'd hit my lure and he swallowed that little uh, little fly thing there. This guy really wanted it. So fish number four, a little bluegill. So I'm, I'm thinking I got too much line on here, but I, I mean, if it was shorter, I wouldn't be able to get out very far. So, you know, this is a small creek, but it's, you know, 20 feet wide still. So I don't know. It's still kind of neat to catch these fish. So I'm having fun. They're really liking this little fly. <laughs> yeah, I make I'm making a fishing video. That's a it's a red breast sunfish. Yeah, they're they're real colorful. They get even more orange sometimes. Yeah, little fish. <laughs> yeah, little sunfish there. You wanna touch it? Yeah. <laughs> right. A little sunfish. Well, I'll tell you what, this little fly that I put on, man, they're they're attacking it a whole lot better. It's a tiny little thing. And it's so fun <laughs> catching a fish when people are there's people walking by on the trail here and uh one was a bunch of kids and they were like amazed just to see a fish. Um and one of the little boys he wanted to touch it. So uh that was that was pretty cool. I love seeing that. And uh, I saw I met a guy that uh, watches some of my videos, so that was really cool too. So uh, I'm gonna try to catch a few more. Um, they're starting to bite a little bit better with with this fly, so we'll see how it does. As soon as I threw it back in there, these that's another uh, red breast. They're having a hard time turning this one down. This is the other one they were looking at a lot, but this one here, they, they just see it and they're they're coming up and hitting it and they're they're really taking it. Man, well that was it, finding the right bait because now that I have this one there, they are hammering it. I can barely see it out there. Uh, the water's pretty clear, I can barely see it, but I see, I can tell when the fish see it and when they go for it, you know, they just turn and boom. Another little uh, bluegill. Oh, 
All right, moved down to this new spot and a little red breast, got a little dirty. This time I, I, I cast it a few times and then I cast it and I saw two of them like uh, just emerge, just come at it at the same time and I just pulled up. I figured one of them had it in its mouth. I was just picking that one up, recast and red breast on there. Yeah. Next cast, I watched a couple of them like just come at it. That's always fun. That, that's that's what's been the most fun right now. It's just clear water. I cast it in there, and I see uh, something else just fish, see fish come jerk and just. You pull up and boom, they're on there. That's a pretty sweet little Kusa bass right there. That's a fine fish. That, that's a good bass right out of here. You know, that's, that's a good sized fish. I, uh, I I saw a few swimming around. I was just casting and casting, and then all of a sudden I saw him like turn and like look like he was going for it. And I thought I saw him barely bite it. And sure enough, he just he barely bit the thing. And he was on there. Pretty fish right there though. I'll tell you what, I'm starting to have fun with this thing. It's getting kind of enjoyable. A little um, red breast right there. Alright, y'all have a good one. Okay, well, uh, surprise, surprise, I actually had fun doing this. I thought for sure that I wasn't going to like it at all, and it was going to be aggravating, annoying, which it was. It was aggravating, annoying, and I definitely could have caught more fish on my other setups, but I had fun. I enjoyed it. I can see how if people are like, they, they've caught fish all their life, and they're so used to catching fish, like, you know, I want a little bit more of a challenge, or I just want something, you know, to play around. It's, it's basically fly fishing, especially with this 12-foot one. I've seen shorter ones, but, it's, you know, it's basically fly fishing without a reel. Um, I got about probably 20 feet of line, so I mean, you know, you're throwing it out, and when you're picking it up, the hardest part is getting it back in. But you know, hooking into these little fish, and I, I can imagine hooking into some big ones. If you could, you know, fish this place where you're you're hooking into big fish, I bet that would be really awesome on it. All right, so thank you for whoever sent me this tin car rod, Sequest tin car rod, 12 foot rod. Um, enjoyed myself. I had fun. Um, I love getting out here. I actually ended up talking to some kids and some adults that were. Uh, talking about fishing and just things and that's always fun that people coming up and down people surprised that you're catching fish all these little creeks going through towns like that but um, this is a fun little challenge will you see me doing this all the time probably not just like fly fishing I got a fly rod but I hardly use it because it's I don't know I just I would rather use something else because I, I want to catch fish I don't want it to have more of a challenge catching fish than it already is but I can definitely see myself getting this out, especially when it's hot in the summer. These fish are active like this. They're just looking to hit something. That was really fun picking off 10 fish or something like that. Way more than I thought. So thanks so much for watching. 
Um, I'll try to leave any information I can on this. I don't know much about it, but this is my first time using it. So um, we'll see how it goes from here. One last thing definitely worth noting is that it collapses straight back down. You can put it back in this little case, hard plastic case, throw it in a suitcase, throw it in the back of your truck. You can roll around, bang around. It's not gonna get hurt. Your line uh, spools up on there. You don't have to untie the line. And uh, hold on, where are those flies at? I only have one fly left. I need to put a couple more flies in my little pack. Put it in there. Stick it right in there with it. And it's very convenient to carry around just to keep it with you all the time. You always have it. So that's definitely a bonus for somebody that wants to just have a little fishing pole, something that they can just carry around. Doesn't take a long time to undo it. And you're ready to fish. Now that's the end of the video.